There. I finally chased the ball in. You can't say I'm not persistent, though. Oh, no, I'll have to concede that. But say, Helen, it's no wonder you can't putt. Let me show you. Now, look, you play the ball right off the point of your left toe. And so easy and relaxed, you see. Something like this. <laughs> well, uh, that's the general idea. Look, let me try another ball. The other players aren't even up to the tee yet. Oh, no, wait a minute. Let's show you. Slide this thumb down inside. That's got it. Now straighten your keep your elbows there. Now just sweep right. it through. Yeah. Well, there you are. I'm getting better. Oh, simple when you know how. I think we'd better go. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, hello, Phil. Hello, Davy. Have a good game, dear? Splendid. I'll say we did. Helen got around 110 today. Hmm. You know, Helen would be a good golfer if she weren't afraid to hit the ball. <laughs> What'd you do, Davy? Well, uh, I did fairly well, Phil. I'll have to be taking you on pretty soon before you get too good for me. Any time at all. Say, I'll have to hurry if I'm going home and change before dinner. Can we give you a lift, old boy? Well, no thanks. I have my car here. Very little. Very little woods I have. Yeah, I like him sometimes. Well, so long, Phil. Long, long Davy. See you around seven. Right. Come on, let's get home. I need a drink for that dinner tonight. For that do you remember when number? My dear, you look lovely. Thank you, Phil. You look uh, expectant. I might even say eager. Yes, that's it, eager. Oh, yes, someone is coming. Why, of course, dear. Dave Burton. You invited him yourself. Huh? Oh, yes, of course. I might have known that nothing else would make you appear so uh, girlish. Phil, I know you're only teasing me. But I wish you wouldn't talk that way. No, of course I am, dear. Forget it. Come on over here. Something I want to show you. I knew you and Dave would want to talk over old times, so I dug up this old book of photographs of you and Davy and me, taken before we were married. Ah, here we are at Newport. There's one of Davy in a bathing suit. Isn't he a Starwood fellow? And here's one of you in Davy. Mm-hmm. He actually has his arm around you. Why, Helen, you seem to be enjoying it. Phil, I don't know what your object is in all of this, but it's unfair. Unfair? Good evening, Mr. Burton. Yes, sir. Step right in the living room. Smile sweetly, my dear, for our guest. Jenks told me to come right in. Why, of course, Davy. You know you're more than welcome. Look at him, Helen. Doesn't he look great? Well, here we are, all three together again. Well, it's great to be here with you again, too, Phil. You know, I don't know any place I'd rather be. Well, I should hope not. Hey, Helen? Of course not, dear. Why, we were just talking over old times, laughing over some old snapshots I dug up. Uh, suppose you take Davy over there and show them to him, dear, while I go and see what's uh, wrong with dinner. Old pictures, huh? 
Yeah, but they're good. Would you like to see them? Sure. Say, these are immense, aren't they? Do you remember that day, Helen? Why, of course. Oh, say, this was at Newport. Well, that was the day that I... You know, I, I always get a laugh out of old pictures. Don't you? Yes, they, they are funny, aren't they? Well, dinner's ready any time you folks are. I just checked with Mary, and she was taking the biggest baked ham I ever saw out of the oven. So if you two can forget old times for a moment, why, we'll go into the dining room. Well, that suits me to a tea. You know, I have a hunch that Mary will make me some of those nice biscuits. Well, what say, Helen? Why, yes, let's go in. I'm sure you two both, both must be starved. I know I am. I've got some old Madeira I want you to try, boy. What's the matter, Helen? You look tired. Too much golf? You're not worried about anything, are you? No. I, I guess I'm just a little on edge tonight, huh? I know. Too much of the young matron stuff. Junior leagues and bridge tees and so on. You need a rest. I'm going to suggest it to Phil. No, that isn't it, Dave. Please don't bother Phil. Everything's all right. I... Helen, now you're not yourself. What is the matter? Nothing, Dave. Nothing, really. Come on. Now tell old Dr. Dave. Fess up. What is it? Dave, I'm afraid. I'm afraid for Phil. Phil? What do you mean, Helen? He's changed, Dave. He's no longer the sweet, considerate man I married. That we both knew. He's... Oh, how shall I tell you? It mean, vindictive. Oh, Helen, you're just distracted, nervous. Phil's probably worrying about business, the market. Lord knows that's enough to make anybody crazy. No. It isn't that, Dave. If it were that, perhaps I could help and understand. It's, it's something else. He's jealous. Unreasonably, insanely jealous. Oh, Helen, you just got the jitters. Phil jealous. Who could he ever be jealous of? That's the horrible part. He's jealous of you. Why, Helen, that's absurd. But Phil is my best friend. Surely you must be mistaken. No, I'm sure. Oh, I couldn't believe it myself for a long time. I told myself it couldn't be true. But it is. There's nothing I can do become an obsession with him. Why, I can't believe it. It's too ghastly. Phil jealous of me? Well, you know, he always treats me wonderfully. There isn't anything he wouldn't do for me. That's just it, Dave. He throws us together at every opportunity. Like tonight. You see, there are no other guests. And as soon as dinner is over, he rushes away to his study on the pretext of work. He's in there now, imagining the most horrible things. Oh. It's terrible to say, but it, it's true. Now, Helen, this is awful. There must be something we can do. Some way to make him realize that... Oh, I've tried everything. Before you came tonight, he was going over those old pictures. He seems to take an insane delight in hurting me. He taunts me about you, and then he throws us together. Dave, you mustn't come here anymore. You mustn't. I... I can't stand it.
I must have fallen asleep. Hmm. Fine host, huh, David? I came in here for a smoke and started counting sheep. I hope you two didn't miss me. You know, I've been thinking. I think I need a vacation. And I know that you need one, too. I haven't been any too pleasant to live with lately, and I think the change will do us both good. You know, that little snooze taught me a whole lot. I'm going to forget all about the market, business, and everything. I want my wife and my friend. I want to relax, have fun, enjoy life. You know, I've got a great idea. Let's stop the boat up and go for a cruise. Just go any place, not caring where or when we get back. Just the three of us, forgetting everybody and everything else. Let's be like we used to be, huh? What do you say? Do you hear anything? Come on, fellas, come on, get out of here. Can't be all night loading this boat. Hiya, matey. Yeah. What's the idea of gold bricking already? Oh, we got lots of work to you, do. You just say it was like this. Oh, oh shut up. up. <laughs> ah, oh my game. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, Sweetheart, this is a farewell between me and you. You'll take good care of yourself, won't right. you, Gorilla? Oh, I'll take care of myself. All right, load away there. What are you crying about? Dry your eyes, will you? I, I dropped my handkerchief at the jail. All right, bring back the hook now. Hey, Gorilla, you ain't got no hook. Good night, sweetheart. You bum. Where do you think you're going? I'm going ashore. I don't want no part of this ship. Oh, so that's the kind of a guy you are, huh? Yeah. I wouldn't stay with Gorilla Larson on a bet. No? Yeah, wait a minute. You just sign on, son? Yes, sir. Cabin boy. Oh. Seen the captain yet? Uh, no, sir. There's Captain Larson now, the old man himself. And why do they call him Gorilla Larson? You'll find that out. What's wrong, mister? This fellow says he ain't sailing with us. What's wrong, shipmate? Well, I had a few drinks with a guy, and I wakes up aboard this ship. I've been Shanghai, and I don't like it. In Shanghai, huh? <laughs> Say, listen, that's a tough word, friend. I'm just going to take you on a little trip. Take you down to the islands. Give you a little ride. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be uh, true to me while I'm gone? I ain't liable to forget you, sailor. Yes, it's all happened. Hey, what are you doing out there? Hello, skipper. Come on, fella, get aboard. Well, come on, come on, get aboard. Come on, fella, hurry up. Don't forget to write, sailor. Much time. 
time, do you, mister? I ain't got much time to waste, girly. Ah, I see. You just up to him, eh? Sure. You like it, don't you? <laughs> Gee, you are strong, mister. Hey, you. Are you going to relieve a man at the wheel? Tell you, mate, I ain't feeling so well. Oh. You're not feeling so well, eh? Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Well, get out of here! Come on, rouse out of here. Come on, rouse out. Captain Lawson. What do you want? Your breakfast is ready, sir. Good morning, sir. Lovely morning, sir. What are you, a new boy on this boat? Yes, sir. What's your name? Benny. Well, Benny, don't talk to me until I talk to you first. Yes, sir. Don't stand in there looking at me like that guy. Boy. Forget it, sailor. <laughs> she was just a bum anyway. <laughs> hey, listen. What are you doing, Cookie? Keeping score. What do you mean, keeping score? Last trip this time, the old man had knocked down five men. So far, it's only four. Hmm. <laughs> One behind, eh? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on here? Quit that fine painting and get in and get that coffee hot. In case you forget, but I don't like beans for breakfast. It's perfect, oh my. Well, he's caught up now. <laughs> Yeah, look at the man there, too. That's what it is. Right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Well, so is Siphon. The man adrift in a boat, sir. Boat ship. Pick him up. Yes, sir. Yeah. There we go. There you are. There. Thanks, Captain. Pretty much all in, huh? Well, I've been drifting around since about midnight. Come on, after. I think I can dig you up a drink. Thanks. Sit down, Mr. Wells is the name, Captain. Philip Wells. Awesome, fine. Have a drink? Yeah, that'll be fine. What are you doing, taking a roll so far from shore? Well, I... I really started out on a pleasure trip on my yacht. With my wife and a friend of mine. There was an explosion, and the boat sank. Your wife and your friend, huh? Yes. They are both drowned, I'm afraid. I, I couldn't find a trace of them. That's too bad. Captain? In view of this distressing occurrence, I wish you would take me back to San Pedro immediately. Sorry, mister, but we're going to the South Seas. But I must get back to port at once. Any way you can get back is to swim. If it's money you want, I can pay you uh, very well. I don't know what to make of you, mister. You just lost your wife, and now you want to get back to Pedro. Well, what do you mean? I don't think you're telling the truth. You can't talk to me like that. No? Well, I am, ain't I? If you don't like it, stop swimming. I picked up the boat, sir. Are we turning back? No, hold your cross. Yes, sir. Isn't there any way I can get into touch with land? Yeah, sure you can. Mr. Smith, catch yourself a seagull. He wants to send a message ashore. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with that fella? I don't believe his story. He's got a post to look out. They'll have to pick up some wreckage. Yes, sir. Hey, 
you. What are you gawking at? Nothing, sir. The captain told me to get his bottle. Oil. Yes, sir. Yeah, put these rags out to dry. Yes, sir. Hey, Walks, sir. The woman was hanging on to this jewel case when the men picked her up. Mm -hmm. This is the real thing and ought to be worth something. I'll take care of this, Mr. Smith. Have you any idea who she is, sir? Sure I have. She's the wife of a man we picked up earlier. Oh, I see. What happened to the other fellow? Oh, he's all right. Just passed out from cold and exposure. I'll put him away, you know what I mean? Keep your eye on him. Yes, sir. I want you to know I appreciate your courtesy in allowing me to spend the past 24 hours in your cabin. I, I'm sure my husband appreciates it, too. Well, I don't. Phil. And I want you to put back into the nearest port at once. In the meantime, please arrange better accommodations for me. Sure, I'll have a special suite for you. Right up forward, where you'll get plenty of air. I'll tell the mate to have it fixed up at once. Phil, you shouldn't have said that. Oh, shut up. I deliberately scuttled the yacht to kill the two of you. Why, Phil, you must be mad. And why shouldn't I be? Watching you day after day, you and your lover. He's not my lover, I tell you. He is your lover. He always has been. You only married me because you thought you'd lost him. But do you believe that? Why didn't you divorce me long ago? And leave you free to marry him? I should say not. You're right. I love him. I only wish that I had taken him for a lover long ago. Do you hear me? I do love him. Yes, I hear you. But don't forget, you're still married to me. Just a minute, mister. I don't know how big a shot you are in your own puddle, but here you don't read it all. Being this lady's husband is the only thing that gives you any consideration. And this ain't a passenger ship, and you've got to work for your grub. All right, Mr. Smith, put him to work. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Sorry, lady, but I guess I don't understand his breed. And I don't want to. That's all right. Hey, uh, lady, how's that for service? Thank you. You've been awfully kind. It's easy to do things for a pretty girl like you. To sell your husband up on deck, you must be proud of him. I'm not. I'm rather ashamed. How did you ever get mixed up with a false alarm like that? Some of us spend most of our lives regretting early mistakes. You're not hard to look at. Shame you're not mixed up with a real man. Me? I'm not in the humor for that. 
All right. We well, say you rest up this afternoon. We'll have dinner together. A little wine. You might get better acquainted. Please. <laughs> If you want me for anything, just yell. I'll be back later. together in my cabin. And after dinner, I don't want to be disturbed. You understand, don't you? Yes, sir. I understand. Come in. Oh, hello, mate. Sit down. Thank you. Well, how do you feel, Mr. Burton? Oh, a little shaky in the legs, but I guess I'm all right. <laughs> That must have been quite a while if you got in the head. Yeah. I don't know what hit me. I came to in the water, and Mrs. Wells was hanging on the wreckage. Say, it'd be mighty nice of your captain to fix me up this way. Yeah. He figured you'd be uh, more comfortable here. I haven't met him yet. He must be a swell fellow. Yeah. Swell. Well, what do you say about a little something to eat? Well, yes. Think I can handle it? All right. I'll send the boy up with the tray. Well, thanks. I'll be seeing you around, I suppose. Yeah, you'll be seeing me. Taylor. I don't want this man to leave this cabin. You understand? And stay right here. but I gotta set the table for supper. It's a lovely evening, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Have you seen Mr. Burton, the man that was picked up with me? No, ma'am, I haven't seen him, but I hear he's much better. I'm glad of that. I wonder if you'd do something for him. Uh, yes, ma'am, I'd be glad to. Give him this note. I'm sorry, ma'am, I couldn't do that. You see, Captain Larson... Oh, I'm sure he wouldn't object. But if he does, I'll say it was my fault. I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't. Here. Gee. If you'll deliver this note, you may keep the ring. Yes, ma'am, I'll do it. But I hope nobody hears about it.
What do you got there, kid? Supper for that fella in there. Oh. Pretty swell, huh? He can't eat all that. He's too sick. Okay. Here you are, sir. Oh, dinner. Well, I'm beginning to think this place is all right. Say, have you seen Mrs. Wells? Uh, yes, sir. Back in the captain's cabin, sir. Well, how is she? She's swell. You're darn tootin' she is, Sonny. I think I do. Oh, you do, huh? That is, I, I've never been there. No, that's right, you haven't. But I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm going to make you want to go there. You haven't lived yet. I'm going to tell you something. I always wanted to meet one of you society ladies. And take your part and see what made you tick. By giving up hope when you fell right into my lap. And now? Now everything's going to be all right. You don't seem to realize, Captain, that I'm in love with another man. What difference does that make? Why, well, none at all. If you don't care whether a woman loves you or hates you. Hates me? Listen. You understand? But Phil, Helen's in real danger. She sent me this note to the cabin boy, saying the captain had her prisoner in his cabin. Well, what about it? Well, we've got to do something. We? Well, after all, she's your wife. Hmm. Rather late for you to be remembering that, isn't it? Oh, Phil, this is no time to go into that. No? Well, let me tell you something. I'd much rather know that she was with him than with you. I'm trying. Oh, wait. I'll give you anything, my jewels. But I've already got them. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what is it now, Bright Eyes? Why, I thought maybe you might be hungry. No, no. I've had my supper. Beans. The same old beans. Well, then you probably wouldn't be interested in a nice thick T-bone steak. Say, listen, where are there any steaks around here? Right under the napkin. On the level?
Here. Here, drink this. You hear me? Dave! Burton! Well, well, where did you come from? Up to your old tricks again, eh, Gorilla? Ah, oh, she's all right. Yeah, well, she better be. <laughs> Helen, Helen, are you all right? Oh, yes, Davy, I'm all right. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at, you mug? Right on time, Davy, huh? As usual. What? Davy, do you two know each other? Know each other? Say, miss, we're old buddies. He saved my life once in a knife fight down at Papete, didn't you, Davy? Huh? Yeah, well, that makes us even. You know, I was on that wreckage. And I didn't even see you. Yeah, well, they carried me aboard. Say, so you're the guy that had me locked in that cabin. Me? Why, Davy, I didn't even see you. <laughs> so this is the lucky kid, huh? Come on, you two, sit down. We'll straighten this thing out now. Say, Gorilla, where are you heading? Heading for the South Seas, unless this lady's husband forces me to turn back to Pedro. <laughs> now listen, you two. I know you're both in love with each other. I also know that your husband tried to kill you. Well, what do you want? I beg your pardon, sir. I was just going to report that this man got out of his cabin. But I see you have it. Yeah, everything's all right, Mr. Smith. Now, I want you to bring down that other man that we picked up. Yes, sir. He's right outside on deck. Go get him. Yes, sir. Oh, please, Captain, don't bring him here. No, Gorilla, don't do that. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, Dave. Now, don't worry. It'll be all right. I'm captain on this ship, and I know just how to handle things. Here he is, sir. All right, Mr. Smith. Wait outside. Yes, sir. I sent for you, mister, to straighten out a few things. You're about as low as any man could possibly be. You're causing a lot of unhappiness for a couple of friends of mine. This lady here, who is unfortunate enough to be your wife. And my buddy here, David Burton. With you out of the way, they could be very happy. They're in love with each other. Is there any reason why you shouldn't die? Is there? Wait, don't do that, Gorilla. You wouldn't murder me in cold blood. No? You forget that I'm skipper here, mister. And you're a menace to the safety of my ship. A menace? What do you mean? I mean that's the way the entry will read in the log. You can't do that. Can I? Davy, take the lady out of here. No, don't go! I'm a rich man. I'm a rich man, Captain. I'll give you money, anything, only don't shoot. I'll give her a divorce. Only I'll do anything you say, only don't shoot. Let him go, Gorilla. Oh, he said he'll give me a divorce. That's all I want. He's lying. He'll double crush her as soon as he gets ashore. I tell you, he's no good. No, I'll do it. So help me, I'll swear to it. I'll do anything you say. Killing him won't help any. Oh, please, Captain, don't. You mark my words, you'll be sorry that I let him go. Mr. Smith? Yes, sir. Take this worm up on deck and step on it. Yes, sir. All right, mister. Get going. Why didn't you let me finish that rat? Oh, we couldn't do that, Gorilla. Don't you see that that was impossible? No, I don't. You love each other, don't you? He stood in the way, didn't he? I was just thinking of your happiness. But don't you understand? We couldn't be happy with that on our minds. Listen. Well, you're too much for me. I give up.
Ain't made a mark in two days. Hmm. Seems like the old man turned out to be a sissy. Go over there. Be careful, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Debbie, you're quite a sailor, huh? Say, if you don't think that's a climb, you want to try it. As if I couldn't. <laughs> anyway, it's a good view. Hanging out with those swells is sure a way behind our knockdowns. <laughs> yeah, but he'll soon catch up. Sorry for him. Don't waste any sympathy on him, Whitty. I tell you, he's no good. He should have let me finish him the other night. Okay, mister. Now listen, you guys. From now on, there ain't gonna be no more cheating. What do you mean, cheat? Oh, nobody you you mean, heard me. Oh, and, and, and you know oh, how geez. it works, Watch too. Watch yourself over there. Yeah. You say so. All right, there's your card. All right, what's the matter? Come on, another car. All right, there it is. Pass. I'll open it for a buck. I'll stay for a buck. Me too. I'll up it a buck. I'll call it. I'll call it too. Same dog bit me. Give me one. Give me, uh, two. Two here. Ours yours. Well, who opened this? I opened it. I'll pass to you with that one card draw. I check two. Me too. Two dollars. Pass. Oh, so you're up in it. Yeah. Yeah, trying to bluff us out. Trying to scare us. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pass. I'll see that too, and how much you got there? Six dollars. All right, there you are. What do you got? Four kings. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I told you he was cheating. Who's cheating? You! How do you know I'm cheating? Well, I guess I know what I dealt you. Oh. I knew there was something phony about it. Time we get out of here! Oh, 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 I, oh, 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 I, oh, I got something I want to show you. Yeah. Well, what is it? Let's see. Yeah. Something that this punk got from the dame in the old man's cabin. Yeah? yeah. yeah. What is it? Take a peek at that. A simple Simon. What a sparkler! She gave him that just for delivering a note to her sweetie. And she's got plenty more. Well, where are they? Yeah, where does she keep them at? Wait a minute. Here's somebody that'll tell you guys all about it. Come on, mister. Yeah, speak up. Yeah, go ahead. We won't hurt you. Come on, let's have it. What this man says is correct. The woman had plenty more like that. A fortune in jewels. But she hasn't got them now. Well, what did she do with them? Yeah, where are they? She gave them to Larson for rescuing her. A fortune, mind you, for saving her life. And uh, who saved her? Who did the hard work? Huh? You men. You, 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 all of you. 
Oh, yes, sure we did. You're right uh, there, maybe. Right. Of course you did. But, uh, did you get any reward? No. No, we didn't. No. Ah, you're right there, Mitty. Of course I'm right. You sweat and work, and what do you get? Nothing. While Larson walks off with a fortune. That's right. Oh, sure. What are we going to do about it? What can we do about it? Yeah. Are you men, or are you babies? A fortune belonging to you is being stolen from you. What are you going to do about it? Aren't you going to get it back? What about Larson? Yeah, and the mate. You men take care of the mate. This fellow and I will take care of Mr. Larson. I'm with you, fella. I got a debt to settle. Me too, the big stiff. Well, what do you say, men? I'm oh, sure. Sure. Oh, 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 hey, now listen, oh, oh, You're gonna stay oh, here, oh, so get back there and hide somebody. Sure, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, time to get this guy You two sure must be in love to sit around here and hold hands all the time. Hello, what's going on up there? Hey, what's the matter with you? Get in, let me go. Oh, here, let's go. Oh, go on. Hold up, the tough guy. <laughs> better go up and investigate. Put up your hands, Larson. Put them up. Now, my friend here, make sure that you're unarmed. All right, sailor. He's unarmed. Makes quite a difference, Mr. Larson, which end of the gun you're on, doesn't it? Huh? You're doing the talking, mister. What do you want? The men want the jewelry. While my friend here wants a woman. I told you you should have let me kill this rat. All right, sailor. Don't touch her, sailor. Ah, oh, forget it, Larson. She's just a bum anyway. Oh, so you're all in on this, huh? Come on, you rats, come and get it. Come on, men. Sir. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks, mister. Get rid of the little that light bulb. Yes, sir. Come on now, you scum. Now move out of here and I'll put some air for you. Now get back out. Go on and fight that fire. Go ahead.
Hey, listen, Gorilla. I'm going to stick with you to see this thing through. Get in that boat. Oh, but listen, Gorilla. You heard what I told you. Get in that boat. All right, Mr. Smith. Blow away when you're ready. Yes, sir. All right, old-timer. Get forward and take charge of that boat. All right, sir. All right, now, my babies. Come on. We'll play a little while if you like it. Come on and get it. Come on, men. Don't let him bluff you. He won't shoot. Well, if you don't think so, mister, just take a step this way. All right now, my hearties, you see I mean business, don't you? Now get up there. Get all those buckets and fight that fire. You hear me? Go ahead. Go on. Go ahead. Get on there. Go on, every one of you. Get in there. Come on now. Come on, you. Let's get it. Grab the bucket, Ted. Come on, on get those buckets. Down the hatchway here. Come on, you've got the whole ocean behind you. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get in there. Come on. 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 Don't be afraid of this fire. Come on, I'll avoid it. Give me the one. Get those buckets working. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, water, 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 water. There you are. Come on, let's get it in that hole there. That's it. Work out there. Come on. Everything's under control, sir. Shall I pick up the lifeboat? No, get back on your course. They're oh, all right. They're in the shipping lane. They'll be picked up soon. Yes, sir. All right, men. Get forward and trim sail. Come on. Yes, sir. Make it snappy. Look, baby. There may be. Hey, Captain. Hey, Gorilla! Goodbye, Davy. Take care of the little lady. Don't forget, name the first one after me. So long. There goes a great guy. Are you afraid? No. 